How appropriate that it's raining because of the tragic end to last episode. Hello internet, I'm Colorful Artie, praise be to God, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. So, last time we ended the episode with Ellie's grandmother passing away. That was very sad. And you might be wondering, why did you do that? Why wouldn't you let her live? Because this is really the only way that Ellie and the Bakery Master will get any character development at all. I think it makes the game a bit uh, more deep and enriching. It'll rain all day. I feel a little depressed. Oh no, honey. Don't feel bad. We should go to Ellie and try to cheer her up. Looks empty without Grandma there. Granted, it's still early in the morning, so she wouldn't have been out anyways, but... It's gonna be hard to get used to that. Hey, Ellie, how you doing? When I'm eating, nothing has any taste. It's been a long time. When I try to swallow, it gets stuck. Nothing tastes good. Oh, Did I worry you? Thanks. I'm okay now. Oh, Feel better, Ellie. Little Ellie cried and cried so much when her father died. When she cries, my heart aches. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Artie. Watching you is encouraging. Aww. Thanks, man. Let me get a piece of pie. Also, during this stage, when Ellie's um, grieving her grandmother's death, you can't boost her affection at all. So that's something to keep in mind. There you are, Poppery. I've been wanting to give this to you for a while. Wow, I love this. Oh, she's at a yellow heart now. Cool. I like the spring. It's the happiest time of the year. Ah, uh, how dissonant. <laughs> Ellie's going through a grieving process. Poppery's like, this is great. I love spring. Hello, it's so gloomy on rainy days. I feel like a slug. Would a tomato make you feel better? Hopefully. Wow, thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Harris. Is there still school? No, there's not. School's closed on... Re oh, it's also Saturday. Oh, thank you! It's my favorite! You should come join us on Sundays. I probably should. But I also have lots of other stuff I want to do around this time of year. Special delivery! Oh, thank you very much. Hey, did you put your animals inside the barn? You should not leave them outside. Yeah, I know that. I never bring my animals outside. Oh, wait, that's probably not a good thing. Oh well. Let's do a bit more fishing at the ocean. Making space for even more grass to be planted. This is where I'm going to plant my um, flowers eventually. But not tonight. Not tonight. A toast to the new year, Karen. Happy New Year, Gray. Aw, oh, that's nice of him. There's my horse. I was wondering where you were, went off to. Hey you. It's okay, just mind your own business. Just mind your own business. I do own a business. It's a very successful farming operation. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the color farm. I'm gonna start planting my flowers, I think. Gonna put some moondrop flowers there. And a thing of pink catmint flowers here to start. And flower seeds you do have to water, unlike grass seeds. Oh, it did happen! I saw Tobias. I feel offended. But I'll admit him. What? What does that mean? See ya. not here. I don't think Gray will mind if I help myself to a few of his flowers that he magically replenishes every day. 
Have an ear of corn? Oh, thank you very much. You don't have to be so eager, you know. But I just love giving out free stuff. It's the best. Hey, Poppery. Wow, I love this. I love sweets. Yeah, who doesn't? Oh. Have an eggplant. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Artie. Watching you is encouraging. Yeah, he's finally talking about stuff besides tea now. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. People don't really know how to express their kindness or happiness. Ooh, whose movie scene is this? Is it, please tell me this is the Karen Maria one. Yes, it is! Quick, quick, get it off! Karen, I can't get it in unless you stay still. Hurry, you're so slow! There you go, I got it off. <laughs> this little guy looks kind of like you, Karen. Who are you calling a grasshopper? Oops, sorry. I meant to say that your hair is like these cool-looking antennas. It was supposed to be a compliment. Oh, <laughs> That's a funny scene, though. Okay, so we've seen, I feel like, almost all the girl scenes. We just need to see the Poppery Ellie one, I think. You know what? New decree. Instead of staying in my house, my dog is going into the greenhouse. There's a myth that if you put your dog in the greenhouse, then it can't get blown down by a typhoon. This is fake news. Alright, it's time for me to start building my corral. So what you can do is you can actually pick up lumber out of here and put it in your rucksack. It's all today's shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? That's good, alright. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically place these, you can place them only on your field, and once you do, you can jump over them just by moving into them. This is how we're going to keep our cows and our one sheep penned into this little field here. And the reason you want them uh, out in the pasture here is because because of two reasons. One, it makes them happier, so they give large milk and better quality wool more quickly. But also more importantly is that if you've got fully grown grass in your field, then you don't have to manually feed them. They'll just eat the grass, which is pretty nice. And this is also where keeping a few small rocks left over from the original cleaning day in a spring, where, you're, where your uh, farm is just trashed, is actually kind of a good idea because the problem with using these fences is that if it rains, the lumber can rot, and then you need to um, hammer it away and then put a brand new log in its place, whereas rocks are indestructible. And again, these logs that I'm putting down, you can only put them down on your field. And I'm getting sick of Jack automatically jumping over the fence. I literally did not touch the control stick there, but he automatically jumped. Anyways, I'm just getting prepared because my grass is going to be grown pretty soon, and I want to put my animals out in the pasture. Not my chickens. There's no advantage to putting your chickens out in the pasture. Now it's just you and me, sweetie. Our dog is no longer living in the house. How about this? Isn't it great? I've just finished. Take a look. Yay! That completes the log terrace. This... Yoo-hoo, brother! Uh, who's this? Is this Kent? It's Kent. What's up, Kent? Hey, brother! The sewing festival's tomorrow at the square. Why don't you come? I have to! I'm the Harvest King! See ya. Alright. Anyways, the log terrace. It's basically just a little deck here. All it really does is limit where you can uh, move your horse. <laughs> it does have an important role at the end of the game, but that's not for a while. And that makes uh, me have all of the home extensions. This just means that if it ever rains when my cows and sheep are in the pasture, I have to bring them all inside or else they'll get very unhappy. And that takes a while. <laughs> So this is the part of the game where rainy days are actually really annoying. As opposed to amazing. There, now my dog can keep me company in the greenhouse. 
Like, you have to go to the bathroom now, doggy? You can do it in here. Hi, I feel like I will invent something great this year. Tool Shop Rick. <laughs> That's his full name. Tool Shop Rick. First, middle, last. That's great. Because, <laughs> you know, he had to specify which Rick, because apparently there's more than one Rick in this town. <laughs> Can't forget to water my flowers. Wow, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect so much from you. <laughs> A few ears of corn, that's all it takes. Hey, Anne. I was just running my horse. He likes it when I make him run. How is Tobias? Oh, he's doing great. Because I whistle for him every day, he's liking me more. Hey, you. I saw Tobias. I feel offended. Oh, wait, I said that yesterday. Yeah, you did. Oh, there's one puppy. Where did they ever go? I knew you when you were just a sprout. Now look at you. Shows how old I've grown, too. Aw. Jiro. How cute. I heard the festival's taking place tomorrow. Yeah. You live here. How do you not know that? Next I'll learn writing. Then I'll be able to write letters. Ellie's grandma died, and I felt scared. I'm scared that my grandpa will die someday, and I'll die someday. But Grandpa said he wasn't scared. Oh no. Oh, this just got really serious. See ya. Where did Grandma go? When someone dies, that means you'll never see them again, right? In this world. Bye-bye. Oh no, the kids are really sad. This is bad. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. It's important to keep a good balance between studying and playing, and of course, working. Oh, jeez. Well, kids, you're in church. That's a good place to start for learning about how to deal with death. Don't you think flowers are great? Even a single flower can cheer you up. Are you hinting you want flowers instead of strawberries? Because Papa actually likes strawberries more than flowers. Hence why I'm giving them to her. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Hello, the sewing festival will be held at the square tomorrow. Please come join us. I'm the king! Of course I'm gonna join. Okay, I'm gonna make a temporary save here. Because I can't remember which carpenter I have to give the fish to to get the last recipe. I think it's this guy. Hey, thanks! I'll teach you how to eat fish! My boss might get angry about such fancy cooking, but I'm sick of eating the same grilled fish all the time. And we get the grilled trout cheese recipe. That's supposed to be grilled trout with cheese. Which sounds gross. Fish and cheese, I've heard, don't go together. Then again, I just don't like fish in general, so... I crated up the eggs. Oh, what was I going to do? I'm so forgetful lately. Oh! It happened. She's pregnant now. I was just thinking, like, man, I, that's probably going to happen soon. That can happen at earliest the day after your one-month wedding anniversary, essentially. If her affection is high enough. Oh, this is exciting! Well, here, eat some cabbage. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! We'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. Oh, that's about the getting all the home extensions. That's the hot springs. That's our adorable wedding picture. Yep, here. Commemorating the completion of the home extensions. Oh, look at my farm. That is an awesome looking farm. And also, clearly, they must have done some impressive Photoshop because my dog hasn't been outside in ages. Am I just tired? Because I feel dizzy lately. Oh. It's morning sickness, sweetie. Alright, sure enough, my grass has grown, so I can sickle it. I can't put them out in the pasture... Actually, you know what, I bet I could. I bet I could. So I'm getting rid of this, I'm actually getting the bell. You know, the bell that we've only used for that one festival. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So much excitement. A bit of sadness, too, but so much excitement. And I have five full-grown cows! This is beautiful. And my sheep? Wow! Sheep grow up fast. Okay. 
Gotta get my tools. Alright, wool shears. I won't be needing my axe, like, ever again. <laughs> so here... And now he's bald. And that gives us sheared wool can sell. You can also give it to Anne, and she will be extremely happy if you give it to her. But there's not a whole lot of point because Anne is already at a maximum affection with us. I forgot how fast sheep grow up. The problem is the sheep don't regrow their wool every day, obviously. They regrow it like every month. <laughs> I'm not going to be feeding my cows and sheep today because I'm going to put them in the corral later on today. You know, when I actually have it finished. <laughs> but I'm very confident I can get it done in one day. Alright, we'll water our flowers on the way in. As you can see, the moondrop flowers are starting to grow. Man, the eggplant grows so freaking much. Oh, that's right, it's the festival today. Okay! <laughs> totally forgot about that. Well then. My dog can get an eggplant. I'm gonna put the rest of this back in the freezer. And pray I can finish the corral and get all the animals in before the festival start or festival ends at five. Actually, you know what? Just so I don't pressure myself, I'm going to just cut a lot of uh, some of this grass. There. I'm gonna cut that. Now I have enough fodder to feed all of my animals, and I don't have to worry about getting them out in time. To the square. This year's king will now choose an assistant. Is there a different scene for everybody if you choose them? I'm not showing all of those off. There's no way that'll take forever. Who else here? A lot of people. Obviously, I picked my wife. What? M -m me y Yes, I'll go with you. Duh, I'd pick you. You're my wife. Let's go! Oh, what a nice view. Probably everybody says more or less the same thing, so I don't think we're missing out on a lot if I don't do that. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. And let me just check real quick. Oh, pfft. we totally have time for another day. All right, how many pegs are missing? We're missing one, two, three, four pegs. Okay. Alright, here's how we're going to get all of our animals in the pasture. We use our bell. Over here, everybody. Cool, now they all mob you. What we're going to do is just push them all this way. Keep going, keep going. So now they should leave? Cool. Now we're going to call these other guys. Or gals. I'm sorry, cows are always gals. Much like chickens. Alright, you two get out as well. Cool. Now they should all be in one giant lump right here. Yep. Now we're going to push them right on in. And as they go in, we can use the last pieces of lumber to seal them in. There we go! Sweet! Now they've got the, uh, that pasture that they're inside. And now if you want to bring them back in, that's a bit tougher, but same principle. Remove the fence, uh, ring the bell to summon them, push them in the barn. But that takes longer, because it's in real time. And sure enough, all my cabbages are grown. Oh boy. 
I'm gonna do something a bit different. Instead of planting one type of crop all the way around, <coughs> I'm gonna plant a variety of crops. So, let's see. Potatoes for sure, and I guess strawberries is another. Seven potato seeds, and then I think seven strawberry. Oh. Six strawberry seeds, seven potato seeds. That sounds about good. Best wishes for the new year, Postman Harris. Thanks, Postman. We'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. Yes, that's from the sewing festival yesterday. At the seed planting festival, oh yeah. Me and my father-in-law, who happens to also be the mayor. So now we're just missing a couple photos. We're missing... Horse race, dog race, cow festival, baby, poppery, and then final picture. Okay, cool. We are right on track. Have an ear of corn. Oh, thank you very much. This guy's mood fluctuates, apparently. <laughs> some days he's like, I'm really impressed with you, and some days he's like, oh, I think you're too eager. Hey, Cliff! Is it okay? Thank you. <laughs> she's honest. Her face always shows what she's thinking. Uh, it's inter it's interesting to watch her. Oh, well, you're kind of a creeper. <laughs> I think spring is the season animals like best. Well, it depends on the animal. Bears probably like winter best because they just get to sleep all day. Eh, uh, boo-boo. Then again, spring is the season for picnic baskets. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. My grandma's last wish was to fill the town and mountains with flowers, so please plant a lot of flowers, Artie. I planted two, which is two more than I did last year. Hey, Ellie. Oh. I'm sorry, Ellie. Oh, thank you. It, oh. Darn it, they're still saying the same things, though. They'll develop eventually. There's a rumor that if you marry Ellie, her grandma won't die. That's not true. Wow, I love this! Aww, someday I'll fill this place, the village, and the mountains with flowers. It's my, it's Papa's and Mama's dream. Hey, kids. I can count. One, two, three, four... Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh? How did I get an extra? Ah. <sighs> I know, Ken. When I was a kid, I was scared of death too, but not anymore. Where did Grandma go? Oh. I feel like I should give them cake eventually. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. All life starts moving in spring. Except Ellie's grandma, but, you know. Don't want to get the kids too down. Wow, thank you very much. I hope people will continue to write letters in the future, even if more convenient means are developed. Man, Harris, it's almost like you knew email and texting and Facebook were going to come around. Snapchat's dumb. I don't count that. The cows are having a good time. I'm glad to hear it. I hope I don't run out of stamina, that would be bad. Oh, look! Look what happened as soon as I said it. One thing I'm also going to do is, this night I'm going to visit Green Ranch to see if we can trigger the final gray poppery cutscene. That would be lovely. Yes! I thought this would happen. This one's actually kind of cute. Sorry, I was concentrating so hard I didn't hear you. Boy, you're sweating a lot. I wouldn't get close if I were you. Hmm? I've been carrying horse manure. If you catch my drift. 
Oh, I don't mind. I spread fertilizer around my flowers. It's the same smell. <laughs> and that's when they decided they should get married. Apparently. A bit cheesy, yes, but... I think it's still sweet. Alright, we're gonna go out here. No more weeds, cool. The cows are gonna start eating the grass now. The, at least the ones that are fully grown. Smooch. Alright, that's gonna be all the time we have for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Man, a lot happened in this episode, and we got a lot done, and we are already on almost the 10th day of spring after two videos. This is great. Progress is moving fast, and we're getting a lot of stuff done. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in next time for more spring days. Have a great day, and God bless, as always.